Hi everyone, welcome to Swing Trader Markets, uh, Swing Price Action Trading Lessons. And our topic for uh, this video is uh, about the importance of waiting for a confirmation signal during the execution of a trade. Okay, so before we proceed, uh, let's have some disclaimer first. You may read this one. Alright, and uh, we have also uh, some notes here. Uh, first one is uh, the strategy uh, taught here may not be applicable to your style of trading. So uh, this might not be applicable if you are a scalper or day trader since uh, we are focusing uh, here on the swing trading style. Alright, so swing trade markets is for uh, swing trading mastery. Uh, naniniwala tayo na ang pinaka the best na para mas, mas mabilis tayong matuto pa sa isang subject matter is to focus on it. So uh, we believe that forex trading is a very uh, broad or diverse subject just just like uh, business, maraming style or types of businesses, ganun din ang trading, maraming styles of trading, maraming approaches or methods of uh, trading the markets so uh, in our uh, coaching lessons we uh, focus only on the swing trading style okay so if you're uh, a trader na gustong matuto paano ang uh, mag trade using this swing trading uh, this is uh, this lesson is for you okay so uh, for the time frame we mainly use the daily time frame as well so para magkaintindihan tayo uh, ang ang ginagamit nating time frame dito is daily time frame lang okay so uh, para hindi tayo malito alright so pag uh, uh, nagbubukas kayo ng chart ngayon so uh, for you to synchronize uh, you uh, might go to the daily time frame para uh, mag coincide sa ating mga examples okay so there are two types of entry strategy so the first one is the blind entry so pag sinabi natin blind entry uh, classic example nyan is uh, once a trader spots a a trading level or kung makakita sila ng level kung saan uh, may trading opportunity uh, they put a pending order okay so for example uh, ganito pag uptrend yung market okay usually um, ang ang um, ang trader sa limbawa ganito uh, nakakita siya ng support level okay usually yung mga trader na gumagamit ng blind entry naglalagay na sila dito ng pending order na buy okay naglalagay na sila dito para pag yung market na hit yung pending order nila automatic uh, mag execute na yung buy order nila uh, para makasabay sila pag angat ng market. Okay? So, yun yung mga tinatawag ng mga blind entry. Okay? Ginagawa yan sa mga key support and resistances uh, pag nag execute yung trader ng order. Okay? So, the next one uh, the next one Okay? So, is uh a type of entry na naghihintay ng confirmation signal. So, kagaya kanina, example natin, uh, uptrend siya. And then, merong support level dito. Okay? Yung blind entry is naglalagay ang mga traders ng pending order. Okay? Pero yung naghihintay ng confirmation signal is uh, naghihintay muna ng uh, price action uh, dito banda na magko-confirm na ang price is talagang nag-reject or nag-bounce na para madagdagan yung uh, uh, ads na aangat siya. Okay? Kasi in reality, kapag yung price nandito sa key level, pwede pa rin siyang bumaba. Okay? So, ang confirmation signal kasi, ito yung uh, mag, uh, mag, magdadagdag ng possibility na yung market is uh, aangat instead na bababa. Okay? So, yun yung advantage. Mamaya i-discuss ko bakit or, or papaano. Okay? So, next. Okay. 
So, there are three possibilities why uh, when price reaches a key level. Okay? So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, yung example natin, na uptrend siya. So, na, meron ditong support level. Okay? So, uh, if you're planning to buy here in the support level, and kapag ang price is... Uh, is dumating na sa, sa support level, there are three possibilities. The first one is it might stall. Big sabihin, uh, magko, magko consolidate siya dito. So, ang, 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 ang consolidating market is, uh, ibig sabihin yan, indecision. So, hindi pa nakapag-decide ang market kung bababa ba siya or aakit ba siya. So, ano yung mga, mga, ano niyan, mga signs? Uh, ang, mar, ang, usually, ang mga signs dito is, yung yung mga candlesticks is maliliit okay at saka nagba-bounce bounce siya hindi wala siyang ano wala siyang tinatawag nating uh, buying or selling pressure or in this case buying pressure so big sabihin uh, nag-move siya sideways tapos narrow siya narrow ang movement okay so yun yung time na nagko-consolidate siya or nag-stall siya so the next the next example is uh, or, or the next possibility is it might reject or bounce. So, mayroong mga instances na mayroong mga instances na kapag dumating na dito yung price, aggressive siya na nagbabounce. Okay? Or nagre-reject. Alright? So, next is nagbabreakout siya. So, mayroong ding possibility na babagsak siya or mabibreak niya to. Na instead na aangat siya, Ano siya, babagsak ang price. Okay, so yun yung tatlong possibilities. And uh, the reason why we should wait for a confirmation signal is para madagdagan yung, ano natin, yung, yung odd or possibility na magbabounce. Kasi ang ina-after natin dito is yung rejection, eh, yung bounce. Kasi dyan tayo magte-trade once the market is uptrend. So, ang, ang, ang ano kasi natin, ang rule kasi natin is uh, during an uptrend, we look for a buying opportunity at support levels. So, since ito yung support, we are looking for a buying opportunity. So, ano ba yung, ano, kailan ba tayo magbabay? Kapag ang market is magbabounce or magre-reject na. Kasi it means ready na siya to create another wave. So, ito yung wave niya. Wave number one, wave number two. Okay? So, kapag nag-reject siya, automatic that is the time na magbabay tayo. But since walang kung walang rejection, wala tayong ano, wala tayong clue. All right, wala tayong uh, uh, hint kung babagsak ba siya or aangat. Okay? But if meron siyang rejection sig uh, ano signal or confirmation, there is a higher possibility. So although wala rin namang 100% uh, uh, assurance, but there is a higher possibility na aangat siya compared sa bababa siya. Okay? So, yun yung importance. Okay, so let's have some examples here. Let's have uh, more examples. Okay, so number one, uh, price consolidates. Okay, so nakita, nakita natin to. This is a key level. Okay, so nangyari dito is bumagsak ang price dito. Okay, nag-break siya. And then nag-consolidate ng, ng ilang araw sa kabumagsak. Okay? So nakita natin uh, itong market na to is downtrend to no kasi ano siya eh uh, galing siya dito sa taas nag-create siya ng uh, a lower high and then bumagsak na naman siya lower low. So nangyari dito uh nagre-retrace nagre siya sa isang key level or isang resistance level. Okay? So nakita natin na na-identify natin ang resistance in this area. And then, uh, nung nahit or nung nag-retrace ang market dito na area sa resistance, nakita natin na maliliit yung mga candlesticks. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, this, the, uh, the price is consolidating. Hindi, hindi pa siya ready or hindi pa siya nakadecide kung aakit ba siya or bababa. Okay? So, ano yung action natin dito? So, this is the perfect time to wait. Okay? So, ito yung uh, sign na maghihintay tayo, wala tayong gagawin. Okay? So, yan yung, yan yung kagandahan kapag naghihintay ka ng confirmation signal because you will be able to know 
when to act and when to uh, to stand aside or to uh, or or to just wait or uh, and do nothing okay so yun yung kagandahan sa kanya alam mo kung kailan ka maghihintay kailan ka na walang gagawin or, or kailan ka magte-trade okay so the next one is uh, price bounces or rejects at a key level. So, ito yung example na nag-bounce. So, ito, uptrend siya. So, kitang-kita mo yung trend. Uh, Nag-create nag siya ng higher high dito. And then, nag, nag retrace siya sa isang uh, support. So, itong area na to is the key level or the support level. So, nangyari dito, hindi siya nag-stall. Uh, nag Nag-bounce siya. O makikita natin, meron siya dito ang pin bar. So, this is a sign of a, 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 a rejection signal. So, since na nakakita tayo ng bouncing signal dito, so this is the perfect time to execute a trade. So, uh, in our strategy, for the pin bar strategy or pin bar rejection strategy uh, in an uptrend, we usually execute a trade. Uh, sa, ano sa example na ganito, we usually execute the trade uh, right away upon the formation of the pin bar. So, uh, sa, sa ano na to, sa, sa signal na to, ilalagay natin dito ang stop loss sa baba, okay, sa baba ng support and sa baba ng, ng moving average. Kasi itong mga moving average kasi na to, it, nag, nag uh, act din siya as a dynamic support levels. So, kailangan ilabas natin siya sa moving average okay so this is a very good signal and a winning signal at that okay actually na trade natin to meron tayong profit dito na na maganda all right so this is one of the classic example sa mga sa mga setups natin okay so next so yung next naman uh, yung next na possibility is uh price may break a key level. Okay? So, nangyari dito, uh, bumagsak siya. So, ito yung key support. Okay? And then, bumalik. Pero, hindi siya nag-bounce. Hindi siya, hindi siya nag-bounce dito. Ang nangyari sa kanya, dumiretso. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang breakout. Na-break na niya yung, uh, yung uh, ano, key support. So, that is the importance because uh, if if you will not wait for a a confirmation signal you might have traded this one okay if you will put a trading order here or a sell order you might get stop out all right so malaki ang possibility na may stop out ka compared sa kung naghintay ka ng confirmation makaka ma makaka save ka ng pera mo kasi hindi ka magte-trade niyan hindi ka magsi-sell diyan eh, kasi walang wala nga siyang bouncing signal all right so yan yung mga classic examples so let's proceed Alright, so why wait for a confirmation signal? So, uh, to be specific, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung uh, bouncing and rejection signal, right? So, as I mentioned earlier, mayroong tatlong possibility na mangyayari kapag ang price ay nasa isang key level na or support, uh, support or resistance. It can stall, it can reject or bounce, or it can uh, break out, okay? So, the first reason uh, why is uh, to increase... Our, uh, the odds in our favor. So, uh, ano, as we all know na itong trading, uh, it's a game of probability. So, uh, we really do not know where the price heads next. It can go up, it can go down. Uh, hindi natin alam talaga 100%. But, but the thing is, we can uh, increase the odds or the chance of a price going to a certain direction uh, above the other direction. Alright? So just like for example itong si itong uh, ano natin illustration natin uh, market is uptrend okay and ang goal natin is magbuy sa support level so meron tayong na spot na support level dito and uh, uh, in this level hindi natin alam kung ang price is uh, magko-continue siya to go up or or uh, trend will reverse and break the support level right so but the thing is uh, kapag na nakakita tayo ng confirmation signal na na rejection na na magre-reject support it can give us a clue or a hint na pwede pang mag-continue ang market to go up okay 
and and with that we can take advantage of this movement okay so uh, ang 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 uh, anti take advantage natin dito is ang next swing so this is the first swing okay this is the first swing the second swing and the third swing right so kapag may na pag kapag uh, nag-appear ang isang confirmation signal dito na nag-reject na siya dito sa support it can give us a hint uh, for us to buy okay instead of nag uh, ano instead of magwawild guessing lang tayo na na aangat ang market okay so uh, ano later on meron na akong ipapakita sa inyo na example or a classic example ng benefit or ng advantage ng paghihintay ng confirmation signal all right so let's proceed now all right so another reason why uh, we should wait for a confirmation signal uh, this is also very critical okay so in order for us to calculate our uh, logical stop loss and and uh, our take profit level as well okay so just like this example yung kanina na pinakita ko like uh, if we buy uh, if we're planning to buy in the support level in an uptrend uh, usually pag paggamit tayo ng blind entry lang mahihirapan tayo mag mag uh, mag estimate or mag uh, mag uh, speculate kung saan ilalagay natin yung ating stop loss so let's say for example kaya maraming mga blind entry traders gumagamit sila na, ng uh, fixed na stop loss distance just like for example a 50 pips uh, a distance well the problem is ang ang market kasi usually merong times na highly volatile siya so there are lots of cases uh, I, I have already encountered these cases na ang market is nagpo false break because of volatility so merong times na na as if nabibreak niya ang level okay bumababa siya tapos bigla siyang babaliktad bigla siyang tataas okay so uh, in my in my experience i call it a false break or false breakout na kumbaga kinukuha muna niya yung momentum bago siya magre-resume sa kung ano yung yung uh, current trend niya like for this one this is an uptrend so in that case kung blind entry ka hindi mo hindi mo talaga mahuhulaan kung gaano ka lalim yung yung magiging uh, false breakout ng market usually kasi uh, in my in my experience nag nagpo false break siya merong times na malalim yung yung false break niya meron din times na hindi naman okay so para ma-avoid natin yan, it is much better na mag maghintay na lang tayo ng confirmation or hintayin natin na mag-false break ang market. Kasi usually, uh, yung, yung ganyang mga false breakout kasi nangyayari talaga yan uh, in a span of, of one day. So para safe ka, hintayin mo na lang yung daily close. Hintayin mong mag, magkaroon ng closing uh, price in that day in such a way that na makikita mo kung ano talaga ang nangyari in that day kung nagkaroon ba ng false break or hindi or nagbounce ba etc etc okay so just like for this example all right so ito just like for this example uh, this is a pin bar okay this is one of our favorite uh, rejection signal or usually kasi ang pin bar is uh, mga consider din natin na uh, na false break signal lalo na pag mataas or mahaba yung tail niya Usually, sa, sa mga false break, yung tail niya mahaba. Right? Kasi, ang, ang, ang concept kasi niyan, in, in, in a day period, nag-break nag out ang market sa key level and then biglang bumaligtad pataas. Kaya siya nag-perform na pin bar or uh, false break pin bar. Okay? So, kapag hintayin mo yung, yung daily close, that is why uh, favorite ko talaga yung, yung daily time frame kasi... Ang strategy ko is I really wait for the daily close para makita ko kung ano yung mangyayari that ano in that day. So kung nag-form siya ng pin bar, it will be a good uh, ano advantage in my side because I aside from the fact na meron akong uh, edge or clue na ang market is ready na or nag-bounce na and ready to move in in my original direction, 
in my in my trading bias i can also uh, uh logically put a stop a stop loss just like for example pag may pin bar i usually put my stop loss 5 to 10 pips away from the tip the pin bar okay so napaka ano niya napaka logical niya kasi yun nga nag false break siya nagkaroon ng upward momentum no so ang stop loss level ko is ilalagay ko siya sa ilalim ng pin bar at sa, at sa at sa ilalim ng key level. Okay, nakuha nyo? So, for my, uh, ano, for my target profit, usually in my trade, I, I uh, set a 1 is to 2 uh, risk reward ratio. So, kung, kung, kung ilang pips yung distance dito from my entry, let's say for example, uh, it is 60 pips yung distance nya. So, since 1 is to 2 siya, I, I'll just double it. So my target profit would be 120 pips. So it's just uh, ano double the distance from my entry to my stop loss. Okay? So ganyan lang siya ka simple. So yung kagandahan diyan pag naghintay ka ng ng signal uh, ng confirmation, hindi lang sa madadagdagan yung yung uh, add mo or yung yung uh, yung uh, yung possibility na na mag-move siya pataas. Okay, malalagi maano mo rin, ma makakalculate mo rin logically kung saan mo ilalagay yung stop loss mo. Okay? Alright, so let's proceed now. So the next reason uh, why uh, why uh, you, uh, we need to wait for a confirmation signal is uh, to avoid entering too early. Okay? Isa rin yan. Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, uh, pwedeng mag-stall ang market. So, Kung nag-buy ka na or nag-sell ka na or nag-trade ka na and then nag-stall ang market for one week, you are uh, being early for uh, ano for several days. So we all know na kapag kapag uh, nag-hold ka ng trade for several days, mayroon yan tinatawag na swap. So ang swap kasi it's either positive or negative. So ano good thing kung positive? Eh what if negative, di ba? So, pag negative siya, kung, kung magkano yung swap mo per day, i-multiply mo yan kung ilang days ka nag-hold ng trade. So, there are times na it will um, it will stall for, uh, for, uh, ano, for a week. So, that will be 5 days. So, masyado nang malaki ang swap mo nyan. Alright? So, in order to avoid that, better wait for a confirmation signal. Okay? So, hindi ko sinasabi na kapag mayroong ano, confirmation signal or mayroong rejection signal, hindi na siya ulit mag stall kasi may mga cases pa rin na nag stall further pa siya. But the thing is, hindi ka masyadong sobrang aga. Alright? Hindi ka masyadong sobrang aga na yung swap mo sobrang laki na. Especially kung negative swap, hindi maganda kasi it will be deducted from your net profit eh. Okay? So, we have some example here. <clears throat> uh, we have here the Eurocad. Okay? So, this was uh, in my watch list. Since uh, nakita ko na nag-breakout siya in this level. So, this is a major uh, support and then market broke down and then it retraced back. So, uh, itong, itong level na to, it is considered as my uh, resistance level of the market. So, ang, 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 ang ibang traders niyan, yung mga, nag, yung mga gumagamit ng blind entry, they will put a pending order here uh, of sell. Okay? And yung stop loss nila, whatever uh, their strategy is, nilalagay nila. Let's say for example, 50 pips or 60 or depende sa kanila. Alright? Pero sa akin, uh, hindi, ako mag, hindi pa ako magsisell dyan. Hindi ako magpupot ng pending order dyan. Ang gagawin ko, maghihintay ako ng confirmation. Right? So, so ano, tingnan natin kung ano ang nangyari ha, sa, sa, sa market na to. Okay, so yan, yun yun no? So, ang nangyari, boom, tumaas. So, since na hindi sila naghihintay ng confirmation, yung mga nagbablind entry, na-stop out sila. While me, na naghihintay ako ng, ano, ng confirmation, nakasave ako ng loss, no? Hindi, hindi ako, na, hindi ako, hindi ako nag-enter ng trade. So, that is one of the, of the advantages, right? So, the next thing is, uh, kapag nag-consolidate naman siya. So again, uh, mayroong times na kapag nasa key level siya, uh, magkakaroon siya ng indecision. So, 
So kapag maghihintay ka ng confirmation signal, tas, halimbawa nakita ka ng ganito na, na mga maliliit na candles, so ibig sabihin hindi siya nag-reject uh, mga ano to eh. Kasi mga, pag kasi mga maliliit na candles in a key level, it means na it is, an, uh, it, it is a period of indecision. So ang gagawin mo dyan, maghihintay ka lang. Okay? Huwag ka muna mag-enter kasi yun nga, eh what if negative ang swap dyan kasi mag-hold ka ng trade overnight. So, so imagine mo to 3 days kasi tatlong candlestick. So, it will be multiplied by 3. So, malaki yung swap mo. So, it will affect your net profit kapag kapag uh, ano ka, kumita ka. Or pag nag-lose ka, mas malaki yung loss mo kasi mayroon pang additional na swap eh na, na i-charge sa'yo. Right? So, that's one of the, uh, the advantages. So, next is uh, ayan. So, Ang nangyari niyan, uh, nag-hold uh, uh, nag ano tayo, naghintay tayo kasi nga uh, period of indecision siya. And then nakita tayo ng rejection this is a pin bar. So saka tayo nag-trade. All right? So this is the perfect timing. So nung nung nang appear itong uh, itong pin bar na to, nag nag uh, trade tayo. Ang stop loss natin is somewhere above here, above sa above sa uh, ano, uh, 50 moving average. So, uh, usually kasi, pag once na may moving average, uh, ano, tinatago natin yung SL natin above the moving average. Bakit? Kasi this is considered as a resistance level. Okay? So, uh, one of our rules sa mga stop loss or inputting a stop loss is you need to hide it uh, beyond a uh, key level or it can be a dynamic or static uh, key level. Okay? So, Ang moving average kasi is is a dynamic uh, key level. Alright? So, kailangan tago natin siya sa taas. So, ito yung magiging uh, distance natin sa SL. SL distance. So, stop loss natin. Kung 1 is to 2, doblehin lang natin. 1, 2. So, somewhere here. Ah, sorry. Ang take profit. Yung TP natin. Okay? So, that will be a very good or very logical placement of stop loss. Okay? I hope nakuha nyo. Sa mga, sa mga members ng group ko, uh, I always emphasize this one. Actually, nagpo-post ako ng mga, ng mga, ano, ng mga setups. And in-explain ko rin ano yung concept di, uh, ano behind that setups. So, imp very important to learn how to, uh, uh, ano, how to logically put your stop loss. And it is very critical as well na maghintay tayo, especially kung stalling. Kaya ako, hindi ako day trader talaga kasi... Kasi ang day trading kasi it means na magki-trade ka every day. But the truth is hindi 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 kasi araw-araw merong ano eh merong big movement eh. Meron talagang araw na wala, no? Walang 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 gaanong movement kagaya nito. 3 days. So anong i-day trade mo diyan? Tama? So ano you have to ano kailangan mo ng proper timing kasi a market will uh, ano will uh, decide to move big anytime pero Hindi guarantee na every day mayroong big movement. Okay? Alright. So, let's move forward. Let's have more examples. Okay. So, uh, this one, this is another example. So, this is our head and shoulder setup. Kung mapapansin nyo, uh, this is the left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Right? So, ang nangyari nyan, nag-breakdown ang market. And then, nag-retrace back siya sa, sa resistance neckline. Okay? So, ang, ang nangyari, naghintay tayo for uh, for how many days? Actually, ang signal na to is nag-appear. So, it took us uh, 3 days to wait. Kasi tatlong bar yan eh. So, ang tawag ko sa signal na to is uh, is a ano, typically, uh, typically a modified uh, evening star. Okay? So, a 3 bar evening star. So, this is our rejection signal. So, it uh, gave me a go signal to sell. So, ang nangyari, naglagay ako ng, ng sell order dito. And then, yung stop loss ko, again, ang roll natin is, is dapat itago natin siya above. Above the key level and above the dynamic uh, key level which is the moving average. So, dito natin nilagay uh, mga, mga around 5 to 10 pips above, above our signal. And then, yung uh, take profit natin is 1 is to 2 risk reward. So, kung ano yung distance yan, doblehin lang natin. So, dito tayo, dito tayo nag-take profit. So, this turned out to be a profitable uh, trade. Alright? So, napakaganda niya. Napakaganda strategy niya. An, uh, ano, uh, um, 
uh, instead of uh, entering na lang na walang wala kang wala ka talagang uh, ano confirmation maraming disadvantages gaya na sinabi ko kanina hindi natin alam kung magbe-break ba siya pataas okay hindi natin alam kung magko-consolidate ba siya but uh, pag naghintay tayo ng bouncing signal it will increase the the possibility na na mag-move siya in our favor in the favor of our bias or the trend okay so i hope you learned something uh, sa mga members ng group ko uh, Uh, maraming uh, ano maraming mga posts na mga setups na kagaya nito kasi this is really my favorite uh, setup okay and uh, i hope um, you you can uh, also be a member uh, kung hindi kung hindi ka pa member you can also be a member of my of my community it's free lang naman so you you'll just have to uh, join okay okay so uh, if you want to learn more about swing trading This is my specialty. Uh, I don't really day trade. I don't scalp because I believe uh, in the principle of focus. Na kailangan masterin mo talaga yung isang isang style. Uh, you own it. You need to master it. Kailangan ka bisa doin mo siya, okay? So just join our free uh, Facebook group. So ito yung link, okay? Uh, Swing Trade the Markets Philippines. Or uh, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you want to. Uh, To be notified for my new videos, I just click the, the bell button uh, below for further notifications, okay? So thank you so much, I hope you learned something and uh, have a great day.